Hey y'all, today I'm excited because I'm in the field and we're gonna make a little project that's gonna help us keep track of the soil moisture um, of any field and visualize it over the internet using things. So and if I get closer right here, you can see we got some little strawberries going on and there's a sensor that is located inside the soil. So this is connected to, um, this sensor is connected to the PC right here and as you can see you can see that the system is telling us that the level of the soil or maybe the level of the the water in the soil is 37 percent and here you can see a green I mean a, I mean a red um, a red light that shows us that the plant needs watering all right so let me go ahead and bring um, and bring a jar of water and try to water this thing and see if there's a change that's going on right there so this is the project we're making today so let me go and take this thing right here I'll come and water my plants just like that so now we need to go ahead and check in the dashboard to see if really the values has changed as we water as we water these plants all right so um it's kind of hard to hold a camera and do all these activities but <laughs> yeah that's how it is all right so now let's go back to the screen right here you can see that now the level of the water is a hundred percent and the red light has turned off so this is the project that we're making today using ThinkSpeak. ThinkSpeak is an IoT platform, an analytic service that allows you to aggregate, visualize and analyze live data streams on the cloud. And it's free. It's not totally free, but you know, some of its services are free, but limited. So um, now let's see the hookups of, of the circuit that we're going to use. This is the easiest circuit you ever do because it's just one sensor one microcontroller and that and of course one dashboard so of course we have the uh, the nod mcu we also have these moisture sensor this is the level uh, moisture sensor and you can see on the screen we're going to show how these things are hooked up because you can't see it on the camera so um you're gonna take the ground the ground on the moisture sensor and try to find it the ground on the node mcu just like that so now let's say that this is the g and oops let me just leave this so now you're also gonna take the vcc let's suppose the vcc is this one and put it on the three volt right there all right so now the, the, the other one is going to be the A0. You're going to have to hook it up onto the A0 just like that. Now, you need to make sure that you have a Wi-Fi access, Wi-Fi network in your home, and these, we assume we have it already. Now, um, if you never used ThinkSpeak Think before, I want you to go back and look at a video that I, back then that I made using ThinkSpeak because that's where I explain more than in this video because this one is going to just be video for those who ever used ThinkSpeak before but don't worry you can hook up with this one if you never ever used ThinkSpeak too so let's now go to the Arduino IDE the reason why I'm saying that is I'm not gonna start hard coding everything that is related to pushing data into ThinkSpeak all right we already have this all we're gonna do is configure these moisture sensors so that it tells us the level of the water in the soil so the next thing I need you to do is to go here onto ThinkSpeak you can if you have an account you need to log in I already logged in into mine so the thing you're gonna do here first is to create a visualizer for the sensor so I'm gonna go here and click on new channel then I'm gonna call my channel plant status 
all right plant status so because the readings from this sensor is just you know the level of the soil i'm gonna need one field all right and i think everything here is uh, optional <clears throat> at least for this video so the next thing i'm gonna do here is to save so um i don't need this visualizer i'm gonna hide it then i'm gonna click here add widget so we need this visualizer as you've seen in the video in the presentation video so i'm gonna click on this one click next so um what do i need to call it i need to call it um let's say level because level of water right in the soil then we can go down here so they're asking us for the update interval it's just 15 seconds you can't go uh, below it units i'm gonna say percent do we need decimals i don't need it right now then i'm gonna click ok so you're gonna see that for the moment it is saying that field value unavailable that's just because we've never pushed anything from this circuit here into the uh, the thing speak so now um the uh, the other thing i'm gonna add is um something like uh, um a light that is going to be red when the the, the soil needs to be um watered and not no color when nothing is needed when the water level is fine so i'm gonna go ahead and do add again i'm gonna click on lamp indicator next now i'm gonna call it indicator Indi indicator all right now yes of course it is corresponding to the field one okay it only shows field one right here because we only made one widget already so now when do we need it to turn to change the color we need to change the color when the the level is less than all right level is less than 50. so because maybe we can say that when the level of the water is like 50 that's just fine when it goes below it's going to be a problem so we need the color to be red red and create so you can see that as well this one doesn't have any value so we're going to push this value through the thing speak now what are we going to do right here the next important thing to check here is uh, scroll a little above and go to api so the api that we need right here is the right because i'm going to copy it because we need this node mcu readings to be sent sent to the thing speak so i'm going to go here the first thing to specify is the api i copied it the um this one the right then pasted it into here i'll leave the links in the description and now the ssid this is my wi-fi so uh, my wi-fi is 101 and i'm gonna type in the password for it and of course i'm gonna leave everything blank right here so now let's go ahead and code these level moisture sensor all right so i left it up now i'm gonna say int let's call it sensor then i'm gonna put it into a0 as we agreed a0 just like that now i'm gonna look for the void setup don't touch anything right here right here now i'm gonna say pin mode pin mode so because we need to specify that that a0 is just a sensor so how do we say that we're gonna say that a0 no i mean sensor is an input all right just like that then i'm gonna go down here into the void loop now because we're gonna do something that is you know detecting the level of the water in the soil when we put the sensor in now the thing that i'm gonna do is uh, go back and declare a value that is going to hold the readings of the sensor so i'm gonna say i'm gonna call it um value just like that and by starting it is just value not no no value added so i'm gonna go down here now what's the void loop yeah inside the void loop right here so i'm gonna say that our value now is equal to analog 
hello greed all right now what are we reading we're reading the sensor all right so we use analog because we put this sensor into the analog pin now the next thing to do is to map the analog readings of the sensor into a certain value a certain range and that range is between 100 and 1023 because the highest value of an analog is 1023 if i am not wrong all right so if i'm wrong you can you know leave that in the comment and maybe tell me what's right all right so um so how do we do that we're going to say value is equal to use a, a keyword called constraint 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 like that then we're going to you know keep the range we're going to say that the value is in range 400 and 1023 all right just like that now we need to round these values we need to round these values on a hundred and zero hundred percent and zero so how do we do that we're going to do it again oops value is going to be equal to map all right so what are we mapping now we're mapping the value so we need a hundred and 1023 to be mapped to zero to a hundred and zero all right so this means we are turning these val these analog values into values that corresponds to uh, from zero to a hundred percent so i think this is it the next thing we need to do right here you need to consider this thing right here so this is where we send we send a value in, we push a value into our cayenne our thing speak oops i'm sorry so um the thing here i'm so now you can see that it is titled field it is named field because here in our thing speak dashboard this one which is going to receive the value is the thing speak i mean yeah is um this one right here is called field one all right so we need to push data into the field one so here i'm gonna add our value like that then i'm gonna go down here a little here here on the display this is where i'm going to display serial that print line so what am i gonna say i'm gonna say that i'm gonna say that the soil soil moisture is like that then down here i'm gonna say serial that print line then then i'm gonna add our value just like that so um you can see that right here we're just delaying sending data so the first thing i need to check is to do uh, compiling stuff to see if there's no errors uh, this thing takes quite a time so we need to wait a little to be compiling Shazam, nothing is wrong. Now the next thing is to check if really um, huh, it is connected, the port is connected, I chose the right board. Now the next step is to 
hit upload and I'm crossing my finger to make sure that it works. Otherwise, you would just hack me for a fool. And that's not what I want. I want things to, you know, to work well, all right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, I think this might not be a big problem because we already done this. Unless we get a network problem or anything. So you can see that now it's uploading. Uploading, uploading, 23, 30, 38, 46. I like this. 53, 61, 69. Why is it so slow? 26, 84, 92. Bam. Now let's go to the serial monitor. You can see that it's just connected to the Wi-Fi and it is sending the value 1. Waiting 20 seconds. Let's go into our things pick and see if there's values. Oops. Oh, wow. So you can see that the 1% that we're seeing into the, into right here, into the um, serial monitor, is the one that is being displayed into our things pick field. And here it is red just because one would not just be a good value for a soy. So let me go ahead and put this thing here into the soil like that let's see if some some values changes uh change all right so nothing is changing so maybe let me just add some water there to see if it changes uh let me grab uh, some water All right, let's pour in some water and see if anything changes. But now I'm gonna go um, here. Let's add some water. Into the soil. So let's just wait a little. Is anything changing? Let's see what we have in the serial monitor. We have 86. So maybe there's a problem with the internet. Let me reload. Let me just reset this thing. Uh, so now you can see that as we added some, you know, some water, the level here is 80, 83 and the lamp just turned off. All right. So bam, this is how we do this thing. And if you like this video, please give it a like, a subscribe, or maybe a comment if there's anything you need to tell us. And of course, the next thing to do right here is to take to grab these things, these activity that you've just done and put it in your field and test it for yourself. So now until next time, peace.